Hello everyone, and welcome to the Forge of Empires 2023 Wildlife Event. From what I can tell, there aren't many, if any, differences between this year's event and last year's. So if you have played this event in the past, I think you'll have a good idea of what to do. For those that haven't played before, or just need a reminder, let's take a look at the game board. Here we have a game slightly similar to Candy Crush, just in the sense that you need to match up similar colored blocks in order to get rid of them. If you match up enough blocks, they actually create a little treasure chest. And more blocks you match up, the better the reward is. There are little stars on the blocks as you collect more and more of them. So try to get as many stars as possible before clicking on the group of them. Chests can also give a chance of winning the daily prize, shown in the middle on the right. You can switch out the daily prize if the current one doesn't interest you, but only once per day. The other important item on the game board is the paw print, which you need to collect many of in order to get the grand prizes over in the bottom right corner. These grand prizes range from more event tickets, to goods or blueprints, and of course the event building upgrades. The event building is called the Panda Reserve, and it has 9 levels, with the highest level giving attack bonus for both attacking and defending armies, as well as coins, medals, goods, forge points, and army units when it's motivated. Attack bonus for your defending army is highly sought after due to the release of the new guild expedition level where you have to use your defending army bonus to fight, so this is a good building to help with that. There is of course the upper tier of rewards that you can purchase access to for $15, and it has some different buildings, upgrades, and portraits, but you'll have to decide for yourself if it's worth the money. Back to the game board, we see some icons on the left side that can help you. The first is a hammer, which removes one colored block from the game board. The next is a windmill, which changes the color of all the adjacent blocks to the one you click on. And lastly is the lightning ball, which removes all colored blocks that match the block you choose to use it on. Finally, the event page has one more section called the league board, where you can see how you are doing in comparison to everyone else on your world. The different levels of the league board give different prizes, with the top 1% of players obviously getting the best prizes. So good luck to everyone. Hopefully you have some previous experience in games like these, and you can use those skills to get a fully leveled event building. With that, it's the end of this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to see more, please like and subscribe. And as always, keep on jamming.